Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What we've been out here doing for the last couple of hours, We've been telling y'all, you all the Israelites going to the Bible. We talk right. about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's and we went right. into slavery, and we all oppressed still today because we disobeyed God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's what we had to try to teach y'all to do. Try to come back to the Bible and repent. Y'all was out here two weeks ago looting. You know how we know? We see you on Facebook Live. Up here again, breaking all the windows out, stealing everything. What's the commandment? God said, thou shalt not steal. God, should, God also said, thou shalt not kill. All right, get uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, all right? Because we out here teaching our people who they are and what they must do in these last days. Right. Guess what? These last days. That's Guess what? Right. America's not going to last forever. Right. Guess what? 71st and is not going to last forever. Right. You got that? Read that. Hold on, before we get that, because we are the men of the Lord right here. We are the prophets back on the earth, okay? You have a church now on every corner of 71st all the way down. How do you know who the real men of God is? Bring it up! Everybody read the Bible. It's a church on every corner, but how do you know who the men of the Lord really are? We're going to show you. We're going to prove all things to you right now. Read Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Read it for the time. We're going to dissect this. The question is, how do you know who the men of the Lord are today in 2020? We, the prophets that have been before me and before me of old, prophesied both against many countries. Against who? Many countries. Where's T.D. Jakes at? Where is he? What does T.D. Jakes have to say about the United States of, of America? Guess what? Because we came over here, so-called blacks and Hispanics don't call those slave shit. What does your pastor have to say about that? Coronavirus, COVID-19. 
You got the face mask on, right? You trying to protect yourself from that, right? Guess what? COVID-19 is because our people disobey God. That's right. Guess what? Same people talk about, hey, I can't get the coronavirus, but guess what right now? Blacks and Hispanics are number one in deaths with the coronavirus. Yeah. Why is that? Because we are the people of this Bible. We are the people of this Zion. We are the Israelites. You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is judgment. And guess what? More judgment is to come. It ain't going to get no easier. It's going to get worse and worse. We are in the last days. But will you listen? Will you be called? Will you wake up, black man, black woman? Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, because this Bible is for you. You are the Israelites. Read. From the top. From the top. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Guess what? The hell with the United States of America. America is going to burn in these last days. That's right. They got thermal nuclear warfare coming soon. They got nuclear bombs prepared right now. They ain't sitting there for nothing. They're going to be used. The Bible said that all the weapons that was ever created will be used. Okay? It ain't collecting dust. It will be used. They're going to be pointed right here in the United States of America. You got Russia. You got China. They're joining forces right now. They coming up. But where will you be at, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman? You're going to keep looting. You're going to keep shooting. What you going to do? Read. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You hear that? War is coming. More pestilence is coming. More people are going to die. Guess what? Winter is coming. What's that? All that the, uh, the research Dr. Fauci. He said it's going to be uh, more. It's going to be another plague coming in the winter times. More people are going to die. Blacks and Hispanics. You hear that on the bus stop? Plagues are coming. The second wave is coming these last days. Get that Sprite 5 and 7. Five seven. So what? Guess what? 
What about your people? You will never rise above the status of your people. That's so right. remember, we came on slave ships together. We was oppressed together. We were shot down and gunned down the streets together. Two weeks ago, it was George Floyd. Before that was Lamar, uh, my army. Who's gonna be next? It's gonna be more people. When your time be the time, when you get shot by the police, we talk about it, but we don't think it could ever happen to us. Right. right. Who's gonna be next? We talking about George Floyd. Guess what? Who will we talking about next month? Who's gonna be next? Read that part again. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because guess what? The day of vengeance is coming. How's that vengeance coming? It's coming right now. Coronavirus, AIDS, disease, death, being oppressed by the police, getting gunned down by the cops. That day is right now, but it's even more a darker day to come. Black man, black woman. Thermonuclear warfare is coming. You're gonna look up at the sky, you're gonna see those missiles coming down. You're gonna have a whole hour to think about your sins. You have a whole hour to think about, damn, I should have listened to the prophets. Bring it up. How many times we gotta come out here and tell y'all to repent? Right. While y'all walking, going where you, wherever you're going. That's fine, keep walking, but listen. Keep your ears open. Keep watching. Judgment is coming to the United States. Right. That's Read. Right. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because the day we were gonna, that you're going to perish be the day of vengeance, guess what? Because it's not going to last forever. God created the earth for righteous sake. Right. But where's the righteousness at? Ain't no righteousness on 71st and Jeffrey. Ain't no righteousness in the United States of America. If there was, you wouldn't have police walk around up and down here every five minutes. Right. The Lord created the earth for our sakes. You so called right. blacks and Hispanics. Right. But let's get some judgments, because maybe you need to hear it. Maybe you need to hear it. Y'all don't believe it. What does God say about thermonuclear warfare? That's in the Bible. Yes, it is. Get out. It's in the Bible. Wake up, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. This Bible's for you. This is the last captivity. The prophets are going to keep coming back. Lions, lions, lions. Give me the Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Guess what? Because we got to teach our people what they must do in these last days and repent. This is it. Like Michael Jackson said, this is it. You got it? Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. Bring it out. Behold, I have decreed the spirit that bloweth a cause in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Read that part again. Because yeah, we read it, but I want y'all brothers and sisters to understand what it's saying. What did the Lord create? Read. I have created the waster. The what? The waster. The what? Waster. What has the capability of wasting everything in our existence? That thermal nuclear ICMBM missile. I don't give a damn. How many times you say your pledge of allegiance? I don't give a damn how many times you vote. I don't give a damn if you will be celebrating 4th of July. We're going to prophesy against the United States of America because that's what the prophets did. Where did they say? Where Farrakhan at? They want to keep this place going. Right. We try to get up out of here. Right. Guess what? We the men of the Lord. We see what's going on on the earth. Right. We see the wickedness. Right. But what you going to do? Will you stand up? Psalms 94, 16. Bring Will you out, stand up, out. black man? You say we need to unite. Unite under what? Teach! You say we gotta come together. Come together on the what? The men of the Lord in these last days will come together with the say of the Lord. What does the Lord say? The Lord's gonna ask you a question, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Because again, the United States, hold on, I'll give a damn if you mad or not. The United States, these United States will burn. I'm gonna keep saying it. That's what the Bible says. If you don't give me that, if you don't like it, keep it moving. The United States will burn. That's right. Jeez. That's right. We were commanding to warn y'all people. Read. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? The Lord's asking you, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, who's going to rise up for him in these last days? Who's going to teach our people? Show that every mother to repent and keep the commandments. Who's going to do it? Are you going to do this or are you going to do something about it? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who 
will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's gonna stand up for God against the workers of iniquity? What is iniquity? Iniquity is sin. We are now here teaching y'all that. That's the reason why we went into slavery, because we said we broke God's commandments. That is sin going to the Bible. You got that in the first time I did. That's why we get kept in captivity. That's why we sit on press. That's why we feel like we gotta lose the steel and rob the kid. That's why we sit on press and say not knowing who we are. You ask a black man who they are, you get three different answers. You ask a Spanish man who they are, you get twenty-four different answers. pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 